Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Not Your Average Josh back here for another movie review. And today I'm here to review the movie Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. A movie based on the book by Judy Bloom, And it is directed and written for the screen by Kelly Fremont Craig. But before I get into my movie review, I do want to say if you're watching this, hit that like button and leave a comment if you have any thoughts on anything I say here. Also hit that subscribe button if this is your first time watching any of my videos or if you're a returning viewer as well. Any support for this channel is very much appreciated. You can also follow me on TikTok and add me on Snapchat where I will post content similar to this. But for the most part, my content will be here on this YouTube channel, not your average Josh. But let's get into this movie review of Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. As I mentioned, this is a movie adapted from the Judy Bloom book with the same name. And it is about a Margaret Simon and her family when they move from the big city of New York to the suburbs as 11-year-old Margaret navigates new friends, feelings, and the beginning of adolescence. This is a very much a coming-of-age story. And for me, I am a little bit familiar with Judy Bloom. I did read some of her books growing up, and I remember liking them pretty well. I was always more impartial to uh, books like Goosebumps, but I did enjoy a few of the Judy Bloom books, and it was a nice surprise. I went to an early screening of this. They had Judy Bloom read a chapter from this book. Actually, it was a little... uh. A clip they posted before the movie started of her reading to this crowd. Oh, that was very nice. And just this movie overall, I really did enjoy for the most part. It's just following this girl, Margaret. We go back in time. It's 1970, which I'm always a sucker for any type of period piece, whether it's, you know, the 1800s film or a film just from the 1990s. Uh, I appreciate anything, any story taking place in a certain time period and how uh, being in that time period affects the story. I think you do get a pretty good effect of that here. Following this girl, Margaret, played by Abby Ryder Fortson, who I thought did a really good job in this. And then also her mom, uh, Rachel McAdams, who was playing her mom, uh, Barbara Simon. I thought they really did a good job of uh, dealing with their relationship in this. If you've read any of the Judy Bloom books, this very much feels like a, a great, uh, almost perfect adaptation of the book. You really feel like the story is coming off the pages here. If you've read any Judy Bloom, you really see a lot of the influences here within the writing and just how the storytelling is. It was also really nice to see Judy Bloom make a cameo in this movie as well. I thought I saw her. I didn't know for sure. It was just this brief moment. She's just walking in the neighborhood where the majority of this movie takes place, uh, where Margaret and her family live. It's always something a little cool uh, to have a little cameo there for the person who is behind the material with this. You also have Benny Safdie, one of the Safdie brothers in here, playing Herb Simon. I thought it was really a nice, pleasant surprise to see him in this movie. This movie definitely feels like uh, it's trying to draw in that crowd that saw Where the Crawdads Sing uh, last year. If you're one of the few people that saw it, I was in uh, one of those theaters that saw the movie. I actually enjoyed that movie pretty well also. The movie having a little bit more on like the lesser known actors I'm involved with that movie, whereas this, uh, you have Kathy Bates in here, again, I already mentioned Rachel McAdams and then Benny Safdie. Made this movie even better than it could have been. But the majority of this movie, again, it's very simplistic, as I said on the surface, just this coming of age story, 1970. Margaret, she's in sixth grade, really just basically dealing with that school year. Um, moving to the suburbs, as I mentioned, she lived in New York City and this kind of transition, especially with the time period of it all, is very interesting, really religion being uh, very much more of a topic than I thought was going to be in this movie. Of course, obviously, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. I assumed it definitely played into that, but I didn't realize it would be played on a, a serious level at times in this movie as it was. They really play on that a lot in this movie, especially within the time period, and you have this uh, just kind of family issues going on with this movie that they deal with, and I thought definitely added a realistic layer to this movie. Kathy Bates playing Margaret's grandma and she's living in New York City, and she's kind of dealing with her own thing of basically being alone now that the family moved to the suburbs. She doesn't have anybody, and they, they kind of touch on that. I kind of wish they actually touched on that a little bit more, but uh, she ends up uh, finding a man of her own, <laughs> her boyfriend, I guess, at the time. Him having this very uh, tense scene where you have Barbara, her parents, you know, the very devout Christians, uh, come to town to meet them on a spring break. And then you also have Margaret's grandma on Benny Safdie's side coming to town. And you have this very tense, uncomfortable family dinner take place. And they do a really good job of showing this story a lot through the perspective of Margaret. This isn't a movie that's necessarily geared towards me. I was definitely the youngest dude in the audience. There wasn't that many people in the audience for this early screening. 
And the, like I said, it's definitely geared more towards, I'd say, middle-aged women or just women in general. Uh, not a story that I would traditionally uh, be, go out to see if it was on streaming or anything, uh, be drawn to just see right away as soon as I see it. But I did have a really good time with this movie. I thought it was very well done. There's a lot of definitely uncomfortable moments. As a guy watching it, they really uh, delve into just some of the issues um, that, it, that is involved with women growing up in this time period, the 1970, but also just women growing up in general, all the stuff they have to go through that you know, as a guy, you don't ever really think about. They did a good job of putting a spotlight on that. And that sometimes it definitely, this movie's PG-13, so it doesn't get too crazy. But they definitely get into some details. You're like, oh, yeah, it would, I'm glad I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And just in turn some uh, perspectives. But anyway, not really much to say on this other than that. This was just a really nice movie. If you're interested in seeing this at all, I, I think go out and see it. With the set design and just how, uh, you know, they designed the neighborhood in this movie, it really did feel like you were in 1970, so uh, I really did like that as well. The dynamic uh, that Benny Safi and Rachel McAdams had, it really did feel like a married couple and just really nice parents that wanted the best for their kid. And again, the, the fact they really deal with that religion in this movie more than I even expected they would. And how you perceive religion and just how you perceive adulthood and really just life, I guess, growing up. They really did a good job of, of really, again, displaying this movie in a lot of ways through the eyes of Margaret. You felt like you were in her shoes in a lot of ways in this movie, and I thought they did a good job with that. Not a movie that's necessarily, again, geared towards me, but I did have a nice time with this. But that's my main thoughts. I'm going to give Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, a 7.5 out of 10. Really nice time at the theaters. I was very happy to go to this early screening for this movie. But what do you guys think? Do you care about this movie at all? Are you going to go see it when it comes out this Friday? Or do you not give a shit? <laughs> Whatever. Are you more in the middle? Are you just kind of like a halfway interested? Whatever you think, leave a comment below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if this is your first time watching any of my videos, hit that subscribe button as well. Or if you're a returning viewer, also, any support for this channel is very much appreciated. And you can also follow me on TikTok and add me on Snapchat where I will post content similar to this. But for the most part, my content will be here on this YouTube channel, Not Your Average Josh. Be looking for more videos very soon, and I will talk to you guys later.